Hello friends and welcome to the third video of block printing. In this video, we will see how to prepare the dies for printing. So these are the things that we will be using for this course. Wooden blocks, pigment dies, binder paste, a bowl or a container, spoon, thin sponge sheet, flat plastic tray or a lid, I will use candy sticks to mix the dice. So let's begin. This is a binder paste. It's white in color. This is used as a base and can be mixed with any color pigment dies to make colorful paste for the block printing. Take approximately two to three spoonful of binder in a bowl. I'm using a container to mix the colors. I can close the lid and store it for around two days and use it later. Now the amount of binder also depends upon the size of the project. If you want to print a bigger cloth, then you will need more scoops of binder. Make sure to close the lids properly after use as you don't want the binder or the dyes to dry and waste. Now you will take the pigment dies. I am using a red color. Shake the bottle well before you use the dies. If you see the bottle is sealed, you can either remove the seal and pour the dies. But here I prefer to punch tiny holes. This way I can control accidental pours and maybe keep adding till I get the right shade. Add few drops of red dye in the binder paste and mix it well. So now if you need a darker or a brighter color, then please add more drops of dyes and mix it well. Add around 7 to 8 drops of fixer in this paste and mix well. The fixer holds the dye in the fabric and prevents fading. In short, this helps in fixing the colors over the cloth. Once your dyes are ready, do a check of colors on the piece of cloth that you want to print on or even on a white paper. This will let you understand the intensity of any color. So if you want to add more dyes to darken it or maybe add more binder to lighten it or sometimes even you can add a touch of black or a different color to create a darker shade or a different shade. Now check the color again. Yes, this is just the shade I want. So now I will put the paste over this thin sponge sheet. This loading of dye technique is helpful to simply dip the block in this and print. This way the block is loaded with an even coat of paint. Traditionally, loosely woven jute cloth pieces are used for loading technique. First, the dyes are poured over these jute pieces and spread and then a thin muslin cloth is placed over it and then loaded again with dyes. It's just like a double filter and allows an even coating of color over the blocks. Let's flip the sponge and load the colors on this side too. Now we will spread the dyes evenly with the help of this card. Traditionally for block printing, people use flat wooden pieces called as thapi to spread the dyes over the cloth. But since we are exploring this craft, we will use basic stuff that is available at home like sponge pieces, trays, plastic containers and other objects to learn the basic printing. Let's test this. We can check by printing over a sheet of paper or if you have a rough cloth then you can try over it too. Gently dip the block in the dies and check if it's evenly coated with colors. Now 
Now take a print. Since I'm trying on a paper, the colors in the print might spread. But when you try on a cloth, the fabric actually soaks in the dye and we get sharp prints. This looks super fun. Now that we have learned how to prepare the dyes and load them in the sponge tray, let's see how to make block printing projects. For more block printing DIY, stay tuned to What is Your Hobby?